following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and today we're on the CLA 76 Flybridge from CL Yachts, the new luxury yacht division of Chioi Lee Shipyards, one of the oldest builders of yachts in the world. More than just the nameplate has changed, this CLA 76 Flybridge has evolved with a longer superstructure, a more open bow area, and a whole new interior treatment, which is among the most innovative we've seen in this size and class of motor yacht. Let's take a look. Let's start at the swim platform, which is a 7 foot deep teak beach, dropping down to let swimmers enjoy the water or, with its 1500 pound capacity, can launch a tender. Because the swim platform rises up to reduce drag while running, a custom made ladder comes with the yacht that stows in the engine room. This transom door measures 5 feet by 2 feet 2 inches, it's hinged at the top and has gas assist ramps for easy openings. It's designed to be usable even with the tender on the platform and even with the platform in the elevated position. It's three steps down into the cruise quarters. Of course, this can also serve as an extra passenger cabin. It has headroom varying from 6 feet 1 inch to 6 feet 6 inches. With a wet head, it's also ideal for swimmers to shower off and not have to walk through the salon. A sink with mirror is to port, while the toilet is to starboard. Back on the swim platform, access to the aft deck is up port and starboard stairs. The aft deck is sheltered by the overhang of the extended flying bridge above with an overhead height of 6 feet 11 inches, and it's decked out in teak, measuring 7 feet 8 inches fore and aft by 16 feet 4 inches wide. To the port and starboard bulwarks, there are exquisitely designed boarding doors with stainless steel pantograph hinges, allowing the door to be opened outward. They measure 1 foot 5 inches wide and of course ease boarding and egress dockside. There's a settee across the transom that's 9 feet wide and there's a table on a pair of stainless pedestals for alfresco dining. Our test boat had a flat screen TV mounted up high in the starboard forward corner connected to the KVH track vision domes on the hardtop. The ladder to the flying bridge is to port. The flying bridge is partially covered by a hardtop supported by stainless steel stanchions and is 6 feet 9 inches off the teak deck. It includes a fabric sunroof that opens at the push of a button. An open space aft places an Aurora Fire Magic gas grill out from beneath the hardtop. Forward of the grill, there's a J-shaped settee curving around a table shaped for the purpose to starboard. Opposite is a wet bar with a sink, refrigerated drawers, and an ice maker. Forward is the helm where the Fusion Stereo Control plays the tunes for the flying bridge. The helm chairs can turn on their pedestals to face aft, adding to the gathering. Returning to the aft deck, we use the side decks, both port and starboard, to access the foredeck. The transition is a safe one thanks to the 31 inch high, inch and a quarter rails. The seating area consists of a curving forward facing settee across the base of the windshield. Forward is a sun pad with grab rails on either side, stereo controls and speakers, pop up lights, beverage holders and storage lockers. Now let's go into the salon through a two part automatic door that slides open a full 6 feet wide. Once inside, we're greeted by a pair of facing 6 foot 1 inch settees, a freestanding round cocktail table, and a carpeted sole. The overhead is 6 feet 9 inches, and the large aft side windows are tinted, and the entertainment electronics are stowed in a louvered locker. Forward on the port side is the formal dining table with seating for 6. There's a U-line wine chiller built into the aft side of the galley's cabinets, handy to the dining table. To starboard is a credenza that has a glossy finish on its horizontal grain veneer. The forwardmost drawers on this credenza are a pair of sub-zero refrigerated drawers. The galley is to port opposite the helm station and is up one step where we see a transition from the carpet to wide planked manufactured wood decking. Natural stone counters are interrupted only by the melee induction cooktop and underhung double stainless steel sink. We'd like to see fiddles or at least a lip on the counter edges. A melee oven and a dishwasher are built into the glossy kitchen joinery. More refrigerator and freezer space are in the galley in two more sub-zero drawers. Overhead cupboards stow still more galley gear and even have a built-in melee vent fan for the cooktop. Now let's move to the accommodations. The companionway is slightly to starboard of center and measures 25 inches wide. There are seven steps down to the lobby as CL Yachts calls this area and its carpeted decking offers access to all four staterooms in addition to the starboard guest stateroom head which serves as the day head. The full beam master stateroom is amidships and three steps down aft from the lobby. The passageway has a locker with a bifold door concealing a stacked washer and dryer. The stateroom has 6 feet 6 inches of headroom and an athwart ship's berth to starboard measuring 66 inches by 78 inches. That really opens up the space, taking advantage of the boat's 19 foot 8 inch beam. 
There's a 38-inch wide loveseat with an ottoman slash coffee table, which is something we rarely see on a boat this size. The Entertainment Center electronics are handy while remaining out of sight in a locker forward. The master has large hull side windows and some impressive curved joinery details on the overhead. The nightstands to either side of the berth have AC outlets, USB ports, and LED reading lights. There's a 40-inch flat screen TV that rises above the love seat. And there's a cedar lined walk-in closet in the master as well, and it includes its own hull side window. The master head has a double sink vanity topped in natural stone, large mirrors, and plenty of storage. The walk-in shower is lined in the same stone and has a tempered glass door and a large hull side window to port. The VIP stateroom is all the way forward with an overhead measuring 6 feet 3 inches and hull side windows add natural light. Four large drawers beneath the foot of the berth add stowage. The berth is 3 feet 7 inches off the deck and two steps to either side ease the access. There's 2 feet 10 inches of headroom above the berth. The VIP head has a separate walk-in shower with tempered glass door, natural light from a hull side window, and a sink with a large mirror above and toiletry stowage beneath. Between the master and VIP off the passageway are two ensuite guest staterooms. They both have 6 feet 6 inches of headroom at the entry. The twin berths measure 73 inches by 27 inches with 3 feet 6 inches over the heads along with LED reading lights. Chiyoi Lee made several improvements to this latest version of the 76. The longer superstructure adds more interior space while also adding the benefit of a larger flying bridge. And overall, with her galley up design, she seems more livable, which is a good accompaniment to her elegance. She's also well designed for cruising, but that's another video. Be sure to look for it. For now, that's our full features inspection of the CLA 76 Flybridge from CL Yachts. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.